Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I am super excited to be doing a live video. Hopefully, I am testing out some new like software. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, I don't see any comments yet. So... Let's see. I don't see any comments yet, but give me one moment and I am going to go into YouTube and see what's going on because I'm not seeing any comments and I'm not seeing any of you. So hold on one moment <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well today um, oh it's starting to come through yay okay Whew. Oh. <laughs> I got super nervous for a second I hate like testing new stuff but um, I'm so excited so let's see yes we can yes we can okay. loud and clear okay is if it's too loud let me know and I'll try to figure out how to um how to fix that as well so uh, today i'm super super excited i kind of let you guys know that i got this beautiful baby um about a month ago now and it's so funny because i was sitting like on instagram you know how you just chilling in the bed sitting there scrolling you know through instagram or whatever social media you prefer and I saw the most gorgeous, gorgeous industrial sewing machine I've ever seen in my life. And um, some of you know that I have an architectural background. And so like machines, I love, love, love machines and like something that just looks like a machine. That was one of the things that sold me on architecture. When I went to the school, they let me use a blowtorch. So I was just like, yeah, this is for me. So. Um, I was super excited when I saw this. I took a screenshot and I was just like, I have to have that. And so I've been, my mom has won an industrial sewing machine for as long as I can remember. And so, you know, like sometimes when your parents dream for things, it becomes your dream. And so that's one of the things that became my dream. And so I decided to write to the company to see if we could get one to test. And they were so kind, kind enough to send it to me um, so that you guys could get a good look at it and see, you know, how it works. So let's get a closer look at this baby while I talk about it. All right, so this is the Sailrite Fabricator and it is a walking foot, single stitch, you know, just a straight stitch um, industrial sewing machine. And I love this sewing machine so much, not just because it's gorgeous. That was the first thing that drew it, drew me to it. Um, but I absolutely love this sewing machine because like some people were telling me that uh, with a lot of industrial sewing machines, they're super loud. Um, I was scared that it was going to be like, I was just a little bit scared of just operating it. Um, just, I don't know, you know, your first time using an industrial sewing machine, you know, that's a big piece of machinery. It's kind of like using the table saw. So I was a little bit afraid, but it has so much control. Like the control that it has is amazing. So I'm super, super excited about it. Um, and yes, thank you so much. Just um, all the congratulations of you guys, um, you know, telling me congratulations for getting this, about getting this, you know, because this is a lot of people's dreams. So this particular sewing machine, it has a servo motor. And the reason that the servo motor is important is that when you turn it on, it doesn't run. The motor doesn't run until you run your mach machine. So you don't hear any noise until the machine is actually going. And the other thing is that you get really, really good control 
um, as far as how when you're sewing you can go super super slow or super fast it's all up to you the foot pedal just it has a lot of control so this was absolutely the perfect sewing machine for me so if you guys saw on Instagram I posted a picture or video of Charlie using it and the, my singer heavy duty I don't feel comfortable because that one the foot pedal I haven't adjusted it um, I don't feel comfortable with him using that as a beginner so you know sewer um, because it'll take off on you this one it has a lot better amazing control so for me never using an um, industrial sewing machine before is very important not to mention that the way it's threaded is really really easy like I can you know you can pick that up really uh, easy and that's important to me I really don't like super complicated sewing machines like when I got my uh, serger that was one of the things that I really really invested my time to research is to make sure that the threading wasn't super complicated because you just don't want to change the thread and anything you don't want to change the thread in you're just not going to use it as much so that's the other thing um the name of the machine like i said is a cell right fabricator and they have a uh, website it's cellright.com and that's where you can purchase it this sewing machine get it back on me this sewing machine was uh $1,600 $1,595 and a lot of people was like oh my gosh that's a lot and you can get an industrial sewing machine I guess for about a thousand dollars but I began to research and see the uh, equivalent because somebody asked me on Instagram why I chose this one over the Juki I mean like the looks of it is just hands down more of a you know gorgeous machine but in the same instance the um the i'll let you guys know the juki that is equivalent to this one is the juki 1541 so you can look those up the specs for the those two are comparable they both have several motors they both come with the table um the motor and the machine the uh whole body is you know uh, metal and all of that kind of cast aluminum or metal whatever um so that one is actually seven mm, 18 is this it's eighteen hundred dollars seventeen ninety nine or something like that so it's two hundred dollars more so these type of machines they you know that's just how much they cost so you know it, it is what it is I'm just grateful <laughs> I'm grateful to have it um, so yeah let me look at a couple of comments I've been rambling on and I haven't you know really said anything to you guys but um, I see you guys here. Let me see Simone and Chris and Sharon and Daisy and Jackie, um, Mama Zen and Lover of My Soul. I see some of you guys' comments. Thank you guys so much. Um, I see Lynn and Kira, Shari, Dee Dee. Oh, it's a fly in here. The, you know, the, you let your kids go outside and they always bring something back in with them. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I hope you guys are excited because we are going to test this baby out. And if you guys have any questions about it, definitely let me know in the comments. I tend to get a little bit nervous on live because, you know, I can't stop it and start it again. So I tend to like run on and on and on. But um, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys these are some of the samples that it came with. So this is a heavy canvas. This is two, four, six, eight layers of canvas plus some strapping that's attached. And this came in the package to show, you know, how it sews through those. And then it also came with, you know, just a, a two layers of a thin, what is this, canvas. Because these sewing machines were intended to sew boat sails and um the in general the people who have the sail right sewing machines are doing upholstery like a uh, car upholstery boat upholstery as well as boat sails and so i knew that it would do what i needed it to do 
so I was super happy about that so that's why they send you like a lot of canvas a lot of people are looking for this to do canvas and as a matter of fact they just came out with a new sewing machine I saw it yesterday that um, that they're pushing for leather like that's their leather sewing machine and it's gorgeous as well it's absolutely beautiful it's a cream color just oh just gorgeous but um, I haven't looked at the full video of that, but I watched it a little bit and it goes through so much leather. So if you are um, looking to do like purses, shoes, anything like that, um, then yeah, that one is the one for you. But this is what six layers of thick, uh, what is this called? Like faux leather? Yeah, like faux leather. And this came underneath the uh, foot when I first opened it up. So here I have, I don't know if you guys remember this, when I tested out the Brother Strong and Tough and the Singer Heavy Duty, um, I had this that they went through. They both went through 10 layers of leather and eight layers of denim. So we're going to start off with these and then we're just going to do some other things. I have some super thick leather that we're going to do as well. Let me see. Do you... Uh, do you think a cheaper portable sale right machine is still I absolutely do think that the cheaper portable one is is just as good because um, they're sewing boats like I've seen people take them on their boats to sew the sails and different things like that so I think that those machines are definitely and as a matter of fact I asked my mom I said would you you know because she doesn't have as big a space as me you know would you be interested in in that one because she could take it off the table you know put another machine on the table and then use that one so I think that is a good solution for those who you know don't want the sixteen hundred dollar uh, price tag as well as need something that's a little bit more portable you don't have you know you haven't taken over three rooms of your house like me <laughs> so all right so I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna see if I can walk you guys through. That was the purpose of me switching up how I do my live streams because I want to see if I can walk you guys through how everything goes. So the switch is down here, it's already on, and there's a knee lift where you can lift the foot up super high and we're gonna start off with our eight layers of denim and let's cut off some of these threads. I have threads everywhere from where we did the last one. And I also want to say you guys do not miss Saturday's video. You guys requested it and I just finished it today and it turned out amazing. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Members don't tell them what it is. They're gonna have to wait till Saturday to see it. But so I use the knee lift, slides under there really well, no resistance, let it go. And there's also a latch in the back where you can uh, hold the knee, the foot up. You don't have to always have it down. Uh oh, it's a little, it's a little piece of thread caught right there. Okay. And I keep I find myself I keep putting my hand back here because I'm used to lifting my foot using this but um, yeah all right so I'm gonna show you the controls see if we can get close up in there all right here we go So you can see, oh, was my hand in the way the whole time? <laughs> That's so funny. I think my hand was in the way the whole time. Let's do that again. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, so you can go super slow. Mm -hmm. 
So, you know, you'll never have to worry about your denim again um, as far as those layers. Where'd my leather go? Oh. Alright, so here's our 10 layers of leather. Oh, I forgot. Oh, oh, that's all right. So absolutely no problems there. And the only reason I didn't take that one faster is because this is a short piece and I'm still getting used to the speed of it. I don't want to take my finger off on camera. That would be horrible. All right. Maybe we should zoom out. <laughs> so, yeah, it, I, I am so very pleasantly I mean like I knew like I knew I would love it but I thought it would be hard and so I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys I was scared like I was scared to do my normal projects with it and the guy when I talked to the representative from the company he was telling me well you could use it for any project don't just use it for your heavy denims or different things like that you know use it for other things you know your regular projects as well so what I'm doing for Saturday is a denim project and I used this completely, no other sewing machine, um, just to test it out. Um, of course I had, it's denim, so you know, it, it needed something a little bit more heavy duty. Although you guys have seen me do denim plenty with my old sewing machine from 10 years ago, um, as well as the two new sewing machines. But in the same instance, you know, this was definitely a joy to use. It wasn't like um i can only use it for the you know super heavy duty thing so i'm pleasantly pleasantly surprised with the range of it like i said when i reviewed the other two sewing machines i don't use other stitches a whole lot anyway other than when you're making a buttonhole or um, doing your gathering and different things like that so I am super happy that, you know, this, if I put in smaller needles, right now it has a heavy duty needle in it, but um, if I put in um, smaller needles, then I could get a really, really good result on some of my regular projects. So, yes, I'm super excited. Send me your questions. Somebody said, when do I have to return to the machine? I don't have to return it. It's mine. Oh. Guys, you guys know, yes, I am, I, I, I just feel so fortunate. Like, I feel so fortunate to be able to, to have this. It's, it's mine. So, um, yes, this is an amazing sewing machine. This is, like I said, the Sailrite Fabricator. Um, it is absolutely amazing. And yeah do you guys have any other questions about it it does select butter <laughs> all right so let me get let, let me know if you guys have any other questions about this on machine or anything you know like we're live we can do you know what we want to do if you guys have any questions definitely let me know and i'll be looking in the comments it seems like they are a little bit uh delayed in this uh oh let me let charlie say hi to you guys you know we have to do that for live gabrielle gabrielle yeah go get your brother 
um, yes I will definitely put a link to this sewing machine in the description box once I once we go off of live um, I'll definitely put a link there they have one I didn't say these are made in the U in the US but they have one that has the 110 volt for the US and then as well as the voltage for um, international so I will put both links in the description box because I know not everybody watching this is living in the US or has the same power system as us so I will definitely oh yes look at this bobbin this bobbin let me get a, 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 a regular bobbin this is a regular bobbin this is the industrial bobbin it's so huge but then you don't have to change it as much and then also when you're using an industrial sewing machine a lot of times your threads that you use can be heavier not necessarily but you know a lot of times they are so it makes sense that the bobbins are huge but yeah that's crazy when I first saw the bobbin I was like oh my gosh and then this sewing machine has a bobbin winder. Let me show you the bobbin winder. So this right here is the bobbin winder and um, I wish I could get you a different view of it but this is the bobbin winder and the bobbin goes on here and you press it back and this wheel right here makes the sewing machine not so while you're winding the bobbin. However, you can wind the bobbin while you're sewing. I saw that and I was just like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So it has the stand up here where you can put two threads. So if you're switching threads and you just want to, or you just want to make a bobbin, then you can wind a bobbin at the same time as you're sewing. Have I tried it? No, I haven't tried that function yet. I, I have been honest with you guys. I told you I was scared. I was scared to use this for my regular project. So I am just testing this fully, fully, fully. Not to mention you guys had me, you know, I've been working on a ton of stuff, um, other projects. And so learning new things, just like this whole live system. <laughs> Just like doing this particular live setup, I put it off because I know that it's going to take a little bit of extra effort from me to learn something new. But I've been so pleasantly, so pleasantly um, surprised at how easy it was to transition um, to this new, to this new stuff, um, to this new sewing machine. So when I do the full review I am going to test it on delicates I have to put a new I have to put a smaller needle in and I have never changed the needle before I mean yeah I've never changed the needle before however someone asked about the setup one thing that makes me I guess a little bit more comfortable with this sewing machine is that it did not come assembled and when I say it didn't come assembled of course the whole body came like it is but I had to put together the table as well as put the motor onto the table and um, let's just say the fact that I know how to put things together did help however they do have an online uh, video they have a video on YouTube Sailrite has a YouTube page as well I'll link that in the description after this as well but the video having the video and the instructions together let me get the instruction book So here's the instruction manual, so you know, whole little book that comes with how to set it up as well as how to operate it. And um, having this as well as the video together was definitely helpful. If you're going to put it together yourself um, and you, you don't necessarily want to pick up 80 pounds because um, it is, you know, 80 pounds, then you probably should have somebody else there to help you lift it. Um, my mom was here at the time. This was right at the very, very beginning of, um, well, you guys saw the video or, you know, we did a video, um, a little sewing class. We built it, I think the next day after that. So yeah, having two people there is definitely helpful when lifting things and stuff like that. But in the same instance, you know, it's definitely possible just follow the instructions in the video. And um, yeah, 
no I cannot use regular needles I have to get special needles for this um, I can't remember the type of needle that what what that number needle or that type of needle is called but the number is the same like it uses 16 needle, number 16 number 20 I believe I have a number 20 needle in here but the type of needle is different than what I have in my brother and my singer like I can interchange my brother and singer um, needles but I can't put those needles in here. So I will have to get new needles. Um, it came with bobbins. Um, it came with needles. So that's the amazing thing. So I don't need to buy any new needles right now. But it did because it did come with needles. But eventually, you know, I'll have to get new needles. I got myself some denim thread. So I was super excited about that. And I'm super excited about getting other colors and different things like that. Um, but all of that stuff, you know. I, I just search online right now I'm using Amazon a lot to search for stuff and just get things little by little here and there for uh, this sewing machine let's see um, it took us let me see how many hours it took us maybe about five hours to put it together Oh, if I ever get the portable one, I will definitely compare it to this one. And I would like to get my hands on that leather one, too. <laughs> I'm just being greedy now. <laughs> no, I would like to get my hands on those temporarily um, to test them. I would love to test them for you. Um, thank you so much, Andrea. Andrea. My sister's name is Andrea. Um, so I know that, you know, sometimes I don't know which one is which. People always call her Andrea but it's Andrea let's see how do you pick which sewing machine to use as there are so many choices or oh, choices in companies I thought you were saying because there's so many choices in my room now um, there's so many choices in companies I think that for me like with every every machine that I buy I look at the first of all I look at the um, ratings like what other people are saying about them and it pays to kind like if you're a beginner it's hard it's hard to know because you don't even know what you're looking for but if there are certain things that you value like for me I value going through layers like going through layers is like what I want and then also I value control like I didn't even know the thing about um, you know how it was going to go, you know, be able to go super slow, super fast and all that kind of stuff. But um, I just knew that I wanted to go through a lot of layers. I knew because I told you guys in the last video, I don't cover my sewing machines. I probably should. But I personally am big into the looks of my machines because I'm a machine person. I like to see my machines in my sewing room. So that, I mean, it's, it sounds vain, but that is definitely one of the things that I look for um, when I'm, buying a sewing machine if that sewing machine is ugly i'm not gonna buy it i mean yeah i'm not so that's you know silly but i'm i'm not gonna buy it so um that is a but i'm not gonna buy a trash sewing machine just because it looks nice that doesn't make sense so that does play a part for me but the you know you have so for my industrial machine you know the biggest thing was for me for what's layers and then what made the difference between this one and the Juki for me is the looks and I was just fortunate enough to get the servo motor because I knew nothing and it, it's just amazing you know for me because I knew nothing about how um, a typical industrial sewing machine you know you turn it on and it's loud and the motor is constantly running and um, how this one is not like that so yeah I really really looked up about that because you know that would have been you know I mean it wouldn't have been no different than anybody else but I was fortunate enough to get you know the top of the line so now I want to show you guys I didn't say this I want to show you guys that it does it self oils itself oh my So it has an oil pan in here and the wick is right there and it has oil that's constantly lubricating the machine so I don't have to oil it. It oils itself and then I just refill the oil whenever um, 
you know, whenever it starts to get low. But they do, they sent me a full bottle of oil. So this baby should be nice and oiled for a while. Now let's. Easy peasy. Although I am very careful when I do that. <laughs> yeah, I try to be very careful. I don't want anything messing up um, the machine. Let's see. Um, <laughs> somebody said this should be your last machine for a while. It should be. It should be. Um, and even if I wanted to buy another machine there aren't any like everybody has been buying them up evidently to make masks um, which is great but um, the truth of the matter is that you guys have been requesting that I try some more beginner like um, th those machines I would you know suggest those for a beginner but I know what you guys mean like a basic a basic basic sewing machine um, something closer to a hundred dollars so I I have been looking into that just to test it for you guys and then um, maybe I'll sell it or something like that and as a matter of fact I'm thinking about selling one of those but um, to get something else but we'll see because right now I have four three regular sewing machines one industrial sewing machine and one serger so that yeah that's too much so, um, yeah. And yes, it does come with the table. Everything um, came in. It actually came in four boxes. They're <laughs> delivered to my door. Four <laughs> pretty big boxes delivered to my door. And, um, you know, you open up the boxes. And like I said, I'll have a full review. And I did record myself putting it together, um, opening up the boxes and everything like that. So I will have a few full review. But I did want to, you know kind of break it in with you guys live um just because it's such an exciting thing if you sew and if you've ever needed to go through layers this has probably been your dream you know just like me for a long time so you know I just as a community I wanted us to be able to do this together <laughs> even though like I wanted to do it for the first time with you guys but I thought to myself like I probably should like sew you know a couple stitches beforehand because then if I get on there and I don't know what I'm doing then you know it's gonna take forever to figure it out but yeah uh, my my surgery was ex yeah my surgery was expensive but I bought it a long time ago the same surgery doesn't cost as much right now uh it i think it's 198 right now somebody said they have one for 68 so that's amazing um i have the brother 1034d serger and um back when i bought it it was 300 it was 300 dollars. so you know but that's been years ago i bought my serger one time i was in i've told this story before one time i was in the thrift store and i saw some riding pants like horse riding pants and they it was 50 cents a day at the outlet and they had like 30 pairs and so i looked it up on ebay and those pants were selling for you know like 50 dollars so i just un undercut the price and sold them on ebay and so i made enough to get my surgery so <laughs> that's how I got my surgery so coming from that to getting this like yeah I'm grateful um yeah so I think I think that's it thank you guys so much for our, you know just being happy for me and hopefully you know if you are still hoping for one you know you can live vicariously through me for a little while longer and I hope that you are able to get one um hopefully my mom um maybe I can write another letter I don't know <laughs> and do something for my mom because she's been saving up for a while now but I think she's about to get something new I don't know what she's gonna get but I think I'll let you guys know what she chooses um, but she's looking into it right now to get something else but yeah so thank you guys so much for joining me you do not want to miss Saturday's video I'm using this baby to make a denim project that you don't need a you don't need an industrial slum machine to make it but 
I will be using this um, to make it and um, I definitely have other videos for you guys to watch and I will see you in the next one wait Charlie didn't come he was supposed to come say bye to you guys you guys never get Charlie winks anymore so when I do lives I try to bring him on they've been playing um, video games kind of staying out of my hair today so that's good I was taking a long time yeah. go the other way around run come here <laughs> what's this camera right here you gonna help me say bye to everybody bye all right see you in the next one bye <laughs>